Hi, um, welcome to my channel, Write Me A River. Today I'm going to talk briefly about um, visiting Africa Utopia and the talk by Ama Asante. I took some notes on my phone so I will be looking down a bit. So as you can imagine, um, obviously directing, getting the money, getting the funding to make these movies, uh, getting approval, getting support, all the rest of it, um, it's obviously not easy. She said she wasn't credited for writing Bell. Um, obviously there were, had to be negotiations that would take place uh, for that to happen. But she discussed the idea of um, the kind of, the, a little bit of the angry black woman syndrome in terms of why has your character got to be so angry I watched the movie I didn't think Belle was angry I thought that Belle was um, going through the motions of being uh, oppressed, rejected, dejected uh, and all the rest of it uh, and having to cope with not being seen as an equal partner in anything uh, so if a character or anybody who's going through that experience isn't being seen as equal but at the same time is being treated as part of the family uh, I think you'd have a couple of conflicted emotions wouldn't you? Um, she was she did talk about the fact that female directors are um, indirectly encouraged uh, when it comes to creating love stories um, and there was a person in the audience that said, well, you didn't stick to the story completely. And her response was a kind of, well, actually, no, you know, because when you're making a film, it's not all down to you anymore. And you have to think of the wider audience. And in other words, you've got to make your money back because people are putting money into this thing. You better make it back if you know what's good for you because you won't get another film made. Um, so there are certain sacrifices that you have to make as a director, as a writer in your field in order to get the bigger picture. She did say that the, what she's working on now, uh, which is almost finished, is what she wanted to work on from the beginning. Amat Asante said that one of the things that she remembers was uh, from Martin Scorsese, one of his uh, uh, pieces of advice was smuggle your ideas. And she said that was one of the best pieces of advice that she's ever heard from any director. She also said that nobody understands the battle that you go through until they walk in your shoes. Because being a female director and then being a black female director, suddenly it's like you're supposed to solve all the problems. And you're supposed to, you know, get all these things done in the name of female or in the name of black. And actually it doesn't work like that. And the struggle is actually, uh, you know, there's a struggle to be had. There are, there are compromises to be made and there are negotiations that you need to do well. Ama Asante also stated that the bulk of her criticism is actually from outside the UK but funnily enough within the UK there is a certain uh, recognition that doesn't take place. She didn't name the newspaper but she did say that uh, I think it was last year they were there was a newspaper that was heralding the fact that there were two female black female directors that had done really well um, one of them being American and her name was mentioned and one of them being a UK black director and they didn't bother to mention her name so two black female directors have done really well this year and isn't it this wonderful for diversity and we will name the American the black American director but we're not going to bother name the UK black director so it's a kind of like a, a, a um, a sweet, a bittersweet uh, experience that she has as this British woman, as a female and as a black director. The, she also talked about um, this business of the space. As a director there is the business of space and um, when somebody, for example, a white male uh, director goes to Africa and he films the elephants or the hyenas or the Maasai you know he's seen as an expert in that field uh, but if a black female director was to go to Northern Ireland and film uh, 
the struggles of, of the conflicts in Northern Ireland, she would not be seen as an expert. So this idea of space and who's the expert and uh, the, the, um, the ideals that are coming out of whose narrative is it and which one is superior is very much in play when you are a director um, in that circle. Another question was put forward to Ama Asante and it was that Western TV is flooding African TV and um, you know the guy who asked the question wasn't he wasn't very happy it was like we have all this Western TV flooding our TV channels in Africa and it's a damn shame because we're making programs and uh, you know we're getting flooded and her answer was that now um, pretty much now is a great time um, that there are lots of platforms out there to showcase your stuff so it's all about those platforms it's all about making use of the platforms that are out there as black directors or as African directors wherever you are in the world to make use of the platforms that are available to you and there are plenty at this point in time so it's pretty much your job to make sure you 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 make use of the festivals and you make use of uh, word of mouth it doesn't care how small the platforms are at least these platforms allow you to meet an audience um, so that's just a short uh, take on the talk that I attended with Ama Asante I hope you enjoyed my little Africa Utopia um, uh, information and um, there will be another Africa Utopia next year it's held at the South Bank in London it was very informative it, it the tickets sell out really fast um, I had a really good time I didn't have a ticket I put it out on Facebook that I really wanted to go in some of the groups and I got a response from an amazing girl called Sarah and we met up and she had this spare ticket and we went in and you know we 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 kind of really we really got on and we really enjoyed ourselves on that day i met miss b the blogger um and we all kind of sat around and chilled out for a bit and we had a really good time so i'll leave you with some pictures of that and thank you